guys, back for another DIY here. Today we're gonna do uh, front and rear diffs, show you how to do that, and then for bonus I'll just show you guys uh, how, how to exclude looks and uh, the screen. I already have a nice DIY for that out, but uh, here we are. So front and rear diffs both use the same fluid. Apparently it's only one liter. I got four of these, so two for the front, two for the back. That way I can squirt a little bit of extra in there to get any residual old stuff out. I'm at 73,000 miles and I haven't done this yet so I expect the fluid to be pretty nasty. There is no Volkswagen interval for doing uh, manual trans or these diff fluids so uh, I'm just kind of knocking it all out here since I've been pretty hard on the car its entire life. Uh, the drain plugs are all the same. Boom. And there's your, your part number again. Part number again, this is for the uh, the Haldex. I'll be linking all this from ShopDap in the description. This is uh, one of the drain plugs for the, the Haldex as well, but the fill and drain for both the front and rear are the same fluids and the same plugs. So I believe this is the fill plug for the Haldex and then the drain plug. So we'll get under there and uh, show you guys what to do. The only thing other than this that you need is the car to be warm, fluid should be warm, and uh, you'll need a hand pump. You can get one from ShopDap, you can get one from Harbor Freight, you can probably find one at Walmart. Um, mine's in a bag, I'm not gonna pull it right out right now because it's all nasty and greasy, but um, yeah, that's all you need. Jack the car up, get under there, should only be, it looks like about a four millimeter Allen to me, which means they shouldn't be torqued down very hard. Um, and you always do the fill plug first. Make sure you get your fill plug out before the drain plug because if you do the drain plug first and your fill plug strips, you're not gonna be able to put fluid in or at least not very much through the fill hole or the drain hole. So keep that in mind. Another note here, if you're uh, doing it on jack stands like me, you wanna make sure that the car is even as possible. Um, you wanna have obviously your fluids, you don't want the car to build too Tilt it too far back or too far forward, the fluids might not drain out properly and it might not fill properly. So get the car level as possible if you're doing it on the ground. I'm gonna pull out my light here, in here to get, show you guys where the drain and fill plugs are, and then go ahead, crack them open, let them drain. All right, we got the rear drain in here. It is on the far, the back side of the sway bar, you got the drain plug. So you got the Haldex drain here. How uh, that's fill there, and you got the differential drain there, and then the differential fill right up there. Really simple stuff. Four millimeter Allen for drain and fill on the diff. Let her drain. Like I said, I got an extra bottle so I can push some fluid through, get whatever gunk is in there out. It didn't look too bad. It smells terrible as always, but uh, I'm going to pump a bit through, get whatever's settled there on the ground or on the bottom side out. Um, and then just fill it up till it drains. Real easy. It's hard for me to camera under the car and pump and all that, so it's kind of like a short DIY here, but it's really simple. This is also a pain to show on camera, but you can see where it's draining from, and then you go follow this odd shaped thing all the way to the left and go up. You see that heat shield there? It's like in between the heat shield and the axle. It's up in there, it's a four millimeter. The book says to take off that heat shield around the axle, which is two eight millimeters. But um, laying on the ground trying to do that is almost impossible, at least at the height that I have the car right now. But uh, you're able to get it, get it. I was able to get it with uh, two little baby extensions. It was kind of a pain at the angle, but uh, it's doable. And you said they're both four millimeters, fill it up till it overflows and you're done. Tighten them up. Moving on to the Haldex here. This is on the driver's side rear, looking towards the passenger side. You got your four, four millimeter drain and should be a six or eight millimeter, I'm sorry, fill up there. Drain right here, this guy. Boom, right on you. And we'll drain it from there, fill it up there, and then this cylinder looking guy will come off and we'll uh, pull the filter and inspect it clean it but the fluid that just came out of this side the little bit um, it looked really really clean which is good I did this about 20,000 miles ago so 
That's a good sign. Very nice. And I've been tuned, uh, held X tuned for maybe, I have to look, but I'd say roughly like eight, eight or so thousand miles. So, good stuff. I know camera doesn't do it justice, but it is like a greenish, grayish. It's definitely not like the golden color that I believe is in the bottle, but it doesn't look terrible at all. As I start to make a mess. So I didn't order it this time, but I have leftovers from last time since I didn't replace the seals or the bolts for it um, for the Heldex. You can get this included in the kit uh, on ShopDat's site. It lets you just get the fluid or just get the fluid and the, and the plugs. It gives you all the options because you can get a pump, you can get this part of the kit. Um, and basically build your own kit however much you need so I'm gonna go ahead and replace these this is the second time these are 10 millimeter bolts um, that hold the filter housing on and I'll get under there and show you but uh yeah you'll you might want to replace them it depends on how anal you are I reuse a lot of shit that I probably shouldn't but it works so so this is pretty difficult to show when I'm under the car but they're one of those 10 millimeters go right there, and then there's another one on the opposite side up top here that you can't see. I will link my Haldex DIY video in the description when I have this on a lift and you can clearly see everything. But you'll get these two 10 mils, and then you'll wiggle this housing off. There's an electric connect connector on it that you can take off, and then the whole housing comes out. And then you can take the little, uh, it's not really a filter, but it's more of a screen that you clean and uh, and toss it back on. And the seals are on this housing as well. I want you to get your two tens out, wiggle this baby, and uh, you see your little little guy right there. It's two T10 torques, and you can take that screen off. All right, and this is the filter screen. This is I haven't even cleaned it yet, so you get a little bit. You can see like light, very light kind of build up on there but barely anything it looks I mean compared to some of the ones I've seen sorry it, it won't focus but very good I'll spray this down with some brake cleaner put her on back in it's good it's very good well now that we got the filter all clean this is my pump one side goes into the bottle the other side goes into the fill hole and you literally pump it until the fluid starts coming out of where you're pumping it into. And that's how you know it's full. It's very simple. Very easy. So I couldn't get a good visual representation of where the drain or the fill plug was there for the front diff. So I brought it up here on the book. And it's going to be kind of hard to see... So there's the heat shield I was telling you about that goes around the axle and once you get that off there you go you got your drain plug right beside the axle and the heat shield like kind of covers like it goes right by it so it might kind of makes it hard to get a tool in there and of course you got where you drain it um I have all these manuals let's see does it give us a torque I don't think it does No. Anyway, so I have all these manuals here. Brake system, chemicals, communication, electrical. I have all these manuals. Usually they do give you torque. but So this is for the Mark 7R, and I have one for the Mark 7 in general. I will link both of these drop boxes down below. Make sure you bookmark them, save them. They definitely come in handy when it comes to uh, stuff. I've posted this in multiple different forms and stuff but uh, if you're not on Facebook at all you've never seen my posts so I'll drop these down below um, really for the, the torque on those I mean they're five millimeter allens just get them tight plus a little you know elbow click you're good to go they're not gonna leak uh, especially if you're using new crush washers but uh, yeah they was a little bit frustrating getting that front one out without removing the heat shield definitely a pain in the butt and then my hose was a little too big for the opening. And I found my other hose that slid into that one to make it smaller. 
then it made life a lot easier. But um, like I said, I've dropped the links down below from ShopDap for the fluids and the plugs. And of course, the links for this down below. It's not too involved. It's really easy to do. It's simple, real simple stuff. It saves you a lot of money by, you know, avoiding the dealer. So, especially if you, can, you got a friend with a lift or a lift that you can use, definitely saves you some time. But any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. Um, I don't know. I don't believe Volkswagen has a service for these diffs. I've tried to look for it, can't find it. I'm doing it for the first time at 73,280 something miles. And at my Haldex, that's my third time. I do it every 20,000 miles. Um, and it was pretty clean considering I've been tuned for, I think at least 10 of that 20 that I'm changing it out. So, very happy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the football.